Welcome back to Hollywood 411, the year in Cheers and Cheers, presented by K Jewelers. I'm Chris Harrison. Our countdowns covered everything from Tom Selleck's return to TV to Prince William's royal engagement. And now it's time for our top two. In at number two, cheers to a woman who at nearly 89 years old remains the reigning queen of comedy. At number two, cheers to Betty White and her hilarious year. I'm the luckiest old broad on two feet. Betty White is a perfect fit for anything. She's a terrific comedian. In a lot of ways, 2010 was the year of Betty White. I mean, she really had an amazing run. Last year, I did a commercial on the Super Bowl, and it opens doors all over the place. I mean, a Snickers commercial relaunches someone's career, not Dancing with the Stars, but a commercial. Then this campaign started to get her to host Saturday Night Live on Facebook. I didn't know what Facebook was. <laughs> and now that I do know what it is, I have to say, it sounds like a huge waste of time. <laughs> And it gave SNL their best ratings in two years. She then won an Emmy for her appearance. Some of Betty's other 2010 successes, she earned the Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award, co-starred on the big screen in You Again, brought extra special laughs to NBC's Community and ABC's The Middle, picked up BAFTA LA's Charlie Chaplin Britannia Award for comedy, and landed a part on TV Land's new sitcom, Hot in Cleveland. The schedule's a busy one these days. I'm not, not a complaint. I'm delighted. I just like to sit and watch and drool at Betty. I don't know what happened, but I am thoroughly enjoying it and busy as a bird dog. Maybe this whole new generation has discovered Betty White. But for those of us who have been around for a minute, Betty White has never been gone. She was always working, and I think the Saturday Night Live thing just went, you know, right through the roof. But uh, uh, Betty never went away. I'm sure everybody's saying, why doesn't she quit? Aren't you going to retire someday? But when you're, when you're having this much fun, then what's to walk away from? I have to say on a personal note, definitely one of my 2010 highlights, interviewing Betty at the Emmy Red Carpet. She is nothing short of awesome. And now we have reached number one in our Cheers and Jeers countdown. It's a story of determination and triumph that had the entire world watching. Number one. Cheers to the Chilean miners. The feel-good story of the year has got to be the Chilean miners. It really was a testament to the human spirit and what people can endure. It brings tears to my eyes, even as I'm thinking about it. When a copper and gold mine in Chile collapsed, the world really watched because there were 30 miners trapped underneath the ground. There have been so many mine disasters, they, they tend to not end well. Uh, but this particular one, it, it looked especially grim at the beginning. It was a tiny little area that a whole lot of guys were stuck in. Here they were, trapped underground, no air, no lights, uh, limited communication. But yet, every time a camera went down there, they were smiling for the camera. They were cheering. They were waving hello to their family. It just goes to show you that men can come together and not take a shower and still survive together. That's what that shows. Miraculously, they emerged from the earth, and it was one of those moments where everyone stopped what they were doing, no matter what time it was, so we could see these reunions. I think that the strength and the spiritual fortitude of the Chilean miners really helped the whole world. Maybe what happened to them was just so we all could feel better about ourselves as human beings. They're like a whole bunch of Chilean baby Jessicas. And, you know, they, they made it out alive. God bless them. Well, that'll do it for Hollywood 411, the year in Cheers and Jeers, presented by K Jewelers. Thank you so much for watching. And check out the special Cheers and Jeers edition of TV Guide magazine on newsstands now. From all of us here at TV Guide Network, I'm Chris Harrison. No jeers, just cheers to you. And we'll see you in 2011. Thank you.